The social media that I choose was dig.com. The audience is pretty much anyone, teenagers, women, men, adults. I mean, I wouldn't think babies would look at this, but they're more than welcome. As you can see, there are plenty of articles to choose from. In any of these articles, you can simply share onto your page. One of the good things about this site is that you don't have to go through the long line of having to make a page. You can simply just sign in from your Facebook, Twitter, or Google account, and I go through my Google since it's the easiest. Once you go to sign in with your Google, you'll be redirected to put in your information, and after you get done doing that, you can it will redirect you back to the page, and the sign-in will now say saved, so you know that you're logged in. Dig is really similar to Facebook and that of MySpace and Instagram because the way you like is by digging a picture. Simply click dig and it will turn into Doug. Um, that's a pro of this. A con will be that you can't leave comments anywhere. That should be getting fixed soon, but they haven't added that in yet. You can share articles either via Facebook or your Twitter. You simply click either of the two. I click Facebook and then you'll be redirected to log into your Facebook which is it's very safe. Um, and then from here after you logged in you can just write about what the article is about. Just give a brief description and then once you do that you can either show whether or not you want a lot of people to view it or not and then you click share and it's on your Facebook this is also a really good way to promote information literacy because you can make people aware of what's going on even if they aren't aware of it already by helping them to find articles to things going on around us the web address for dig is www digg.com you click go or the enter button and you are on dig the sign in button at the top of the page allows you to sign in with facebook twitter or your google account and once you've signed in enough if once you click it it will just sign you in at the top of the page you'll see that there is the daily dig you can check out dig's facebook tumblr or Twitter, Android, or iOS for iPhone, or you can subscribe to get Dig sent to your email on a daily basis if you can't check your Dig every day, such as myself. Or they also have a reader, and now they have video, just like Instagram. You click on it, and it shows you a plethora of videos, and you click the one you want to watch, and it will come on for you. To get to your privacy settings, go back to the home screen and click on the wheel in the right hand corner which will take you to the settings button. Now a con of this, you can't protect who sees what you post, um, but you can however delete the account off of your dig that you signed in with and you can sign out of your account whenever you want. A pro of this social media site is that on the home page, even though you can't see who liked it, you can see how many people, like one dug this on Dig99 on Twitter and 56 on Facebook. At the top of the home page, you'll also see a magnifying glass, so you can search Dig if you want. Dig also has a way you can save the articles that you read, and once you save them at the top of the screen, it will say saved, and it will show you all of the articles that you have saved so you can go back and view them later or you could post them to other social media sites. Another thing that's good about Dig, at the bottom of the screen there is a link so you can see all of Dig's top stories. If you click on that, it shows you all of the top stories and you can also download the app to your iPhone or your Android. To add an article to Dig, you go to the bottom of the page and either click Submit a Link or go to Blog, and on the left-hand side you'll see Submit a Link. A box will come up and you can go to the page that you want the article from and copy and paste the link. To share an article from the EBSCO host, you simply bring up a new tab and put in www.iup.edu libraries 
Once that comes up under the find information, you want to click article databases and select the first one, which is the EBSCO discovery host. On, once on that page, you want to put in what you want to know about. I simply put the death penalty. You search for that, and to bring up the best articles, in my opinion, you want to select the box on the left for the peer-reviewed scholarly journals. And once those come up, you want to click the PDF underneath and it will bring up your article and once that comes up you want to right click the link on the top of the page to copy it and go back to the dig page and you want to right click in the box and click paste once you click submit your article is now on dig and this is how you use the dig social media website by chevelle spencer